So first off, Jared, you guys got this. Uh, you guys have an event coming up uh, in two weekends. Week and a half. Not even. Point. Yeah. What's that? Go ahead. Yeah, like go. Uh, not even a, a week from this Sunday. So the thirteenth. A week of from this Sunday. Yeah, I got that wrong. So it's at the new uh, Cedar Point Indoor Sports Complex. Tell me about that right. in Sandusky, Ohio, right. man. Just walked through today. Did the walk through. You know, we do you know, several walkthroughs, but it's a, it's brand new. Twenty twenty opened this year, um, so it's brand new. Opened in January, right before, you know, everything hit the fan. But uh, it's it's massive. Ten courts. They have nine, so it's a I think three by three, open floor plan, and then. Um, you know, has one court off to the side, has a track up top, climbing wall and stuff for the kids, you know, off to the side, um, you know, kitchen, like a kitchen ca- slash like cafeteria. I think, you know what I mean? It's, um, it's pretty sweet. It's, it's uh, right next door to the outdoor. You've been to the outdoor for football. It's right next to that. Um, about a half so mile. It's directly next to sports force is what you're saying. Exactly. Exactly. Right. And then about a mile from Cedar point entrance. And then, uh, what like a half mile you, you remember where i grew up about a half mile from there so uh, but anyways yeah tournament next weekend plan is that you know, as of now it's a go obviously we know things can change but uh uh 150 kids a session looking at three sessions so 450 total one parent one coach per kid or one spectator so parents will come up top watch from up top you know we can space people out you know safely and then one coach per kid uh so we'll see how it goes six mats you know spaced out um and then uh i know um you know guys gonna have defense so duels i believe oh yeah no i i know right the week after uh actually the s- six days after so he's having his i believe on the saturday so he's his, his is gonna be a little bit different setup because it's duels and his is gonna be in the back of the facility but Yours uh is on december 13th his is on the 19th correct? right right yep exactly okay. december 13th december 19th so it's back-to-back wrestling weekends and uh what's cool is um I know for our event, I can't speak for his, but I'm pretty sure every participant gets a five-day pass to Cedar Point. So if you have, you know, little Ferd in a few years compete. You know, I don't know if it, you know, the same thing, but let's say he was competing. Uh, he'd get a five-day rolling pass. So like, if obviously next season, so you can go, you know, Sunday, you know, five days consecutive, you have that pass that's good for. Um, so it's a pretty cool concept they have going. Um you know, it's, it's, it's a nice facility. Uh, you know, I was out there this fall. My daughter's had volleyball, you know, they're, 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 they're doing it right. They got all kinds of things going on out there. Basketball, volleyball, pickleball. We did actually had a, a duel out there at the high, for a high school team last year, a double duel we did in the one thing just to try to check it out and, you know, put an event out there. So pretty cool place. What's the name of the event, Jared? It's just the OEC Cedar Point Open. You know, nothing crazy. We're working on another January event out there. Uh, I haven't released anything on that yet, but working on something a little more, you know, naming to it. But just trying to keep it simple and trying to get the kids on the mat, have a, you know, novice division for this and a regular open. So kids are, you know, there's kids looking for mat time. We hope we can do it in a safe way. And, you know, we sh- we'll see what happens, you know, as of right now, it's a go. So COVID-19 obviously is a huge uh, factor in everybody's life on the planet earth right now. And, uh, you know, you talk about one-to-one, you know, they get a coach, they get a parent, right. Mm -hmm. Um, you're separating the parents with the coaches. You got the matches, the mats, the six mats are spread out. When you look into something like this and you're starting to deal with, uh, your Erie County, right? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Erie County health department. I know the, uh, the national middle school duels had to deal with Wood County, right? Obviously Lucas County where Toledo, Ohio is a shutdown. And then, you know, you can look into, Hamilton County, Cincinnati, and then Franklin, Columbus, Cuyahoga, uh, Cuyahoga, and, you know, Cleveland, and then Mahoning, Youngstown, right? So you're dealing with the the county board, health of education, or I'm sorry, the board of health, Health. not out of education, the board of health. When you deal with the board of health, what's that like, Jared? How involved is that process for COVID-19 and tournaments and youth sports and doing these things? What's that like? Well, with Erie County, you know, that's what we're working on right now. They're following what the state guideline is. So each it's every county is different, obviously. Some are going by what the state says. Actually, the county can, it, you know, over supersedes what the, the state says. But Erie County, what they've said is whatever the, the state's saying. And yeah, that's what we're going by. Um, for example, I know, um, you know, just, you know, that, so obviously it's it's day to day and it's, you know, that's what we're dealing with uh, here in Erie County. Um 
know, for my coaching side today at two o'clock, I might even before that, you know, like obviously I coach, we're supposed to go down to Shelby next Wednesday. They want purple day. So I got a text from their coach. Hey, sorry, we're out. Uh, you can't come next week. We can't, we're not even allowed to practice. We're not allowed to travel. You know, they're purple. So Shelby, you know, we're supposed to go down there with them and another school and, and duel them or, you know, try meet whatever. So, so, you know, at that point as a coach, you know, I, I get, you know, shooting emails, whatever it is. And you know, we were lucky enough to jump in another match uh, with uh, Vermilion, Port Clinton, Lakota next Wednesday. So it's just, you know, it's pretty crazy how, you know, these administrators, you know, they got to be on their toes, man. You know, as soon as, you know, they had a team drop out of that because they're coming from Richland County, you know what I mean? So it's, uh, it's just, you know, you know, that you got to, whatever the, the County says, that's what you got to work with. And it's, it's all depending on them. You know, they might go by what the state says or they may, you know, shut it down sooner. We call that a fluid situation, ever changing yeah. and moving. <laughs> and the, the, the shape, we don't know what the shape is, the, the size, we don't know what it's going to yeah, be. Yeah. So that's what's wild about a fluid situation like that. And that's what COVID 19 is. It, it's right. a global pandemic and mm -hmm. it's wild. Uh, defense soap duels. Let's just talk about that real quick. I think we're going to try and get a Charlie or a guy on here, talk talk to those guys. But defense soap duels, mm -hmm. Cedar Sport, Cedar Point Sports Complex, you know, obviously. Mm -hmm. Uh, state of the art, brand new. It's still got the new car smell to it. It's a it 2020 does. built, 2019, 2020 built and opened in January of 2020. But um, what what are you looking at for the defense of duels? You know, six days after your event, uh, I'm guessing we'll see you pop into that. But what do you think of that event with with Guy Seiko and uh, Defense Soap at your guys' <laughs> same facility, Cedar Point? They do everything. You know, you know, obviously they do it right. You know, they're a great partner. You know, as, as you know, and you know, this the little things that they're you know talking about doing with their event, you know, we're putting in ours. So we've been talking, you know, doing that, you know, okay, you're going to do this. Let's, let's make sure we're doing it. So, you know, we don't want to ruin it for them. You know I mean? If we put on a bad event, then it could be, you know, put their event at risk. So, but I know they're, they're looking forward to it. You know, they are at a little different situation because they're, they're going to be using the back side of the building, but you know, that, you know, when you're dealing with Charlie and guy, you know, they, they know what they're doing. Right. I mean, you, you don't lose faith in them. They've seen a lot of tournaments. They've been to a lot of tournaments and know how things work. Obviously, we're going to keep it a clean event, and uh, you know, there's going to be a little bit of setup with it since it's duels, right? So there, I think it's 25, you know, participants per team is what they're doing. So it's a little different setup, but uh, um, those guys out at Cedar Point been great to work with, and it's 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 been um, you know, hey guys, you know, gonna stop out here and check it out, or you know, here's what the guys thinking for his event, and you know, we're bouncing ideas on you know whether it's you know, from the temperature checks and banding people or, you know, how we're going to live stream. I don't, the guy's not going <clears> to <throat> do live stream. He's just, you know, going to do, uh, you know, just a straight dual meet match. And, you know, you know but, who he's going with, right, right, you know, right, I right, mean, right, right. I'm all right with being a dinosaur right. and we're going to go old school right. flow no, style. It's, it's right? Right. Gonna, no, that's okay. I'm going to video right. every match. Right. I'm going to do the cameras. And yeah. that's what I did at national middle yeah. school duels. And, you know, um, I actually can't, you know, really do much with those videos because track was there. You know what I mean? I could do highlights and do the, the, the covering of the event, but I can't really do a ton with all the matches I shot, you know, they're for future highlights and things like that to, to promote the event. But with his event, the gloves are off everything. I shoot, it's mine right. and ours and, and defense soaps and mine. And no, we, we can put that out there. It's awesome. We can't wait to have, you know, we obviously we were talking today where we're going to have a, a big backdrop set up for you. Uh, I was actually talking with, we got a big, the one we usually put behind the podium, we're going to have that up. You know, if, you know, people want to get pictures. If you want to get an interview over there, I was talking with Josh. He he's looking at making us another banner that we can put near the mat. So like, okay, you know, because it's going to be a long strip, both of ours. So it's you know, you think three courts end to end. Okay, so it's like a long corridor, right? So we're going to get some you know some banners and things for you, you know, and I'm sure guy can you know we'll have his branding there too, but um. You know, that way you're not, oh, let's go way over here for an interview. No, let's just step over here and do the interview. You know, um, we're going to have John Wagner running the bracket. So, obviously, you know, he does a, a you know, first-class job. And, um, you know, you might see, see some familiar faces out there. Um, but, yeah, I mean, guy guy knows what he's doing. So, it's, uh, it's going to be two, I think, back-to-back -back weekends and, you know, get it in right before the holidays. And then, you know, we'll, we'll move on to January, right? You know I'm pumped about going to, to both of the events. The hey, and you haven't seen and you haven't seen the you haven't seen the facility yet either, have you? No, no, I'm right. pumped. I'm stoked. It just and you're gonna see it and you won't see it at like optimal full like they have like a ninja course there. Like 
Oh, wow. Like, but it won't be open, obviously. You know what I mean? You know, you can't have kids climbing all this equipment, but they have a ninja course and like all kinds of stuff for, you know, the kids to do when they're not competing. You know what I mean? They got yeah. a walking track up, track up top, you know, when we get that back open, maybe get you on the timer and see how fast you can do an indoor mile. What do you think? Maybe, right? maybe, you know, we were talking, <laughs> you, you put me on the spot last week with Cole. <laughs> Yeah, I'm talking mile times, you know, maybe, maybe, dude. But um, I'm excited for Defense Up Duels and the uh, OAC Open, man. I, I'm just glad to be at the events. So I'm, I'm, ready, I'm, I'm pumped. It's been a minute, right? What? Oh, it's been a minute. It's right. been, jeez, oh, Pete's huh. OAC. I can't even remember the last OAC event I went to. It was last year. I didn't February? go to Brexville. February. Yeah, it was February sometime. So March. 1st. I'm, I'm pumped. Hey, are we ready for our guests soon? We are. Let's let's uh, call them in here.